What's everyone saying? It's your boy Summon Express back again. I'm right here just around the corner from Trafalgar Square, right in the centre of London. I'm going to be showing you how you can ride on the classic Route Master any day of the week on one of its heritage routes, the 15. I think my bus is somewhere over there, right over there. I need to go catch that. I've already missed the one before. Let's have a ride. Let's see what it's like. Let's enjoy the beautiful weather. Bank holiday weekend. Let's go. The AEC Route Master bus is a staple of London culture. Having traversed the streets of London day after day, transporting millions of people between 1956 and 2005. Nowadays, when you cut about London, you may see a classic route master operating an afternoon tea tour, transporting people to a wedding reception, or being used as a restaurant or a barber shop. Since their withdrawal from London in 2005, the new route master, the Boris Bus, more on them in this video here, have aimed to replicate that aura the legendary status, the clout that oozed from these old boys, whilst also conforming to modern accessibility standards. But one could say that that kind of really, oh, it's, it's not really happened, has it? In November 2005, the 9H and 15H began operation, being truncated versions of their modern counterparts, allowing folk to still ride on a route master past some of London's most touristy landmarks. 9H ran from 2005 to 2014 between Trafalgar Square and Kensington High Street through Pall Mall, Hyde Park Corner and Knightsbridge for Harrods. 15H ran from 2005 to 2020 when the pandemic came between Trafalgar Square and Tower Hill through Oldwich and the City of London. When the 9H and 15H ran, you could pay with your Oyster, use a travel card, and until 2014, when TFL buses became cashless, you could pay with your cash. The pandemic has passed and Transport Group launched Londoner Buses, which has run the T15 bus for a while now with a number of preserved route masters along the same route as the 15H. And I thought it'd be a good day to get a ride on one of these bad boys. The T15 additionally has a couple of runs to and from Waterloo Station but the timetable doesn't specify what stop at Waterloo it leaves from. There are a lot of stops dotted around Waterloo and to a regular tourist that would be a very stressy thing to deal with. The T15 runs towards the tower from the same stop as a regular 15 bus across from Charing Cross Station. This isn't really clear at all because I didn't find any signage or adverts at the bus stop about the T15. The timetables also only show the exact stop to get on the bus when you're at the tower. Nevertheless, as a seasoned Londoner who can just about critically think, a great route master station at the stop probably meant that this was the one to be at. The buses run every 30 minutes between 10am and 6.30pm, so even if they might be a bit late, like what happened today, the services are evenly spread apart. If you're waiting for a bus, it's not like there's nothing to do in central London whilst you wait. I went and got a cheeky meal deal from the Tesco across the road. Surprisingly, after heaps of folk got on the modern 15, our chariot of excellence arrived, greeted by boss man, the conductor. A couple of folk got on along with me and it was straight to the top deck and time to enjoy the ride. It's quite a quiet one today. I swear that the last time I rode on one of these was on the 159. That was the last route to have the Route Masters. Remember, we from Stratum out to Oxford Circus. Just listen to the sound of the, the sound of the diesel engine. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, literally. It's been a long time since I've been on one of these. If it's not been like a, like a heritage run, say like an Epping Onga. I did it once on the 15 when it was run by TFL, but not on the 9. A single journey costs £2.50, which is not bad at all, with an all-day ticket being £7.50 and £5 for under 21s, where you can just jump on and off the route as you wish. 
The T15 stops at all the stops along the route, with Bossman, the conductor, announcing the main stops and landmarks along the route. Along the route, there were a lot of intrigued folk at stops asking what the bus was for, and some actually just jumped on, you know, just for a laugh. Right, the one seat you have to go and sit in when you're on a route master is the one at the back, yeah? That is the OG gangster seat. Let's go sit down. Oi. This seat is cool. Cause you're like, you're right in the back of the bus, right at the back of the bus. You're behind the stairs. And it's like, you can see everything. You've got extra leg room if you need it. You've got great views. Great views of London just coming out. Right there. Nowadays it's all hybrids, electric buses. You get a few diesels, but it's nice to have that proper, you know, you can feel that you can feel the engine, especially at the front. Because with these buses, the engine is at the front. Oh, other bus. Very busy. Very busy. Feeling that. City Thames Link. is that the leg room is a bit tight. <laughs> it's very tight. Very nice day to be on a cheeky route master. Just passing Mansion House. We've actually passed the 15, like the regular 15 in front of us, and that was quite busy. But with the 15, most people are getting off somewhere between Trafalgar Square and Tower Gateway, Tower Bridge. So why not come on this one? Let's have a quick change of theory. Let's sit, let's go downstairs. Thirty minutes later, we're dropped off across from the Tower of London and adjacent to Tower Hill Tube Station. For the returning journey, the bus leaves from the stop across from Tower Gateway DLR Station on Minories and the same bus stop as the Modern 15 outside the Tower. But once again, no information here at all, which is a shame, although some buses were absolutely rammed in the opposite direction, doing very well against the uh, very active tour bus reps cutting about. Right, I've just taken myself down to the river because it's nice and sunny. Tower Bridge is right behind me. You've got the boats, you've got the shard right there. You've got expensive fish and chips down the road and the Tower of London. Every time I go on the Route Master, it's always a bit of, okay, so, okay, I'm not that old, but it's like nostalgia, you know, back to being in primary school, getting the bus, because there was a lot of Route Master buses that went down into Brixton, into South London, 
course the 159 was the last one and then following that you had a couple of route masters that turned into bendy buses the bendy buses are gone and then of course now you've got the new route masters check out my video check out my video i will say one thing like a couple of things i noticed it's like not a lot of people know that it actually runs because most of the route master tours you see around london are ones it's like afternoon tea it's like a special tour maybe like a shakespeare thing or like a i don't know Paddington Bear like we saw. There was a Peppa Pig one I saw on the way to the bus stop. This service is much more affordable and you know, if you've only got 30, 45 minutes, you wanna go on an old London red bus, get the photos on, I'd say get on one of these. Honestly, it was weird how it was much quieter than the regular 15. At Trafalgar Square especially, there wasn't any signage, anything to note that this bus was actually in service, that you could actually take it. It was more, it got to the stop and then people asked the conductor. And if you compare that to the old 15H, the 15H when it was run by Transport for London, that had more advertising, it was in the timetables. I found out about these buses by chance, did you, by accident? I think I was just searching something and then I was like, ooh, Rickmaster, yeah? And I've been wanting to try it for quite a while now. Now I've done it, I would say that, especially for tourists that don't want to spend 20, 30 pounds on a bespoke tour, just want to ride on an old London bus double-decker. I think this is the go-to. Right, that's something ticked off. I'm not going to go into the Tower of London. I've done that already. I saw it was like 38 pounds. Tower Bridge is over there. Might go have a walk, have a little bit of a sightsee and explore it's a sunny day this is like the three days of summer we get here in london if you like the video make sure you drop a like subscribe Kofi patreon links in the description below it's been your boy someone explores 250 well spent i'll catch you in the next one see you in a bit Bye.